Deb Velder here. I'm back with another video for the Teaspoon of Fun, the small paper crafting company that Vicki and I are um, the co-owners of. We just love what we do. We love sharing everything that we have in our shop for you. Make sure that you head on over to Teaspoon of Fun and um, you will find some fantastic excuse me some fantastic products over there you can get there by the little eye in the corner above or in the description below i will put a link in there for you shop teaspoon of fun we're fantastic so today it's going to be all about the marvelous magnolia 3d embossing folder and the cutting dies that go along with it and another thing that is included with it are these beautiful transfers so i'm going to show you a bunch of different things here and um Hopefully you will love what you're gonna see. So this is the embossing folder. These are the dies that go along with it. Now coordinating with that are the, let me get them out, the uh, Magnolia. Um, these are the uh, uh, transfers. These are the ones that you can take and you can rub on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I have another whole video on these. They're just fantastic. All right, so let's just start with these. I'm gonna show you that when you emboss this folder, now remember this is a 3D embossing folder, it is fantastic. It gives you such depth and such beauty. Look at the, uh, look at the detail in that. So for this, what I did was I just took this, I colored it with Copic. It took me less than five minutes to do this. I'm not kidding you, it was so easy. I added a sentiment from our very first uh, Teaspoon of Fun die, or, uh, stamp set. It's called It's About the Day. It's our very first um, stamp set. So grab yours while you can. And um, so I added that. I did it with the vanilla and the white cardstock to kind of offset it a little bit. But seriously, this is such a fast card. This embossing folder, like I said, is very versatile, very fun, uh, really pretty. So this is the um, this is the folder all by itself. And then what I do is I cut out a whole bunch of these flowers. So these are the flowers that are cut out. And then um, what I do is I'll take one of these and I will put it in the embossing folder. So this is what it looks like before, right here. Okay, and then you add the detail with the embossing folder and it's just gorgeous. Now, what you do with this one is you take and you rub on your, uh, your little uh, rub on, okay? That's from this little thing right here, okay? These are our transfers. And then what you do is you take the embossing folder, or not the embossing folder, the um, die, and you put it onto this like so. I don't cut mine apart because when I cut these out, I cut them out all together and then I just have a stash like I do here. That's a, one of those uh, working smarter not harder things. So I just cut out a bunch of them. I can emboss them ahead of time which because I always emboss them. Um, so I will go back and I will do that but um, I do like to keep a bunch of them ahead of time. So what I did was I transferred uh, this little transfer right here onto white cardstock. I cut it out and then what I did was, um, this is a different one, but what I did was I um, cut it out and then I embossed it. Okay, so that is one of the other ones. Uh, it's this one right here, let me just show you. And then I cut off the stem because I have a, I have a card that I wanna use this for. So I just cut off the stem and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay, so now let's take and show you a couple of other um, samples. So this one right here, like I said, I just did it with the white cardstock. I added a little bit of Copic coloring and all of the colors will be on my blog post. Okay, so head on over to there. For this one, I used just one of the little flowers and I did it on my June 20, uh, 2024 uh, um, 
uh, calendar page. This one right here, I just added it to this gorgeous die, okay? And then this was the one I'm gonna show you how to do today because we're gonna use our Luma paint for here. This is the, um, the transfers or the rub-ons, okay? Um, that is from this set right here. I wanted to show you a couple more of the um, rub-ons that we have. This is a card that is in progress. I'm just gonna take and put a sentiment on there. Great note cards fast, fun, and great. All right, so here are some more of the transfers. These are just selling like hotcakes. All right, so here are, is the bows, and you can add these to all of your um, cards. Here's some um, Christmas sentiments. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here is one that I used all during the Christmas season. It's just gorgeous. We have some of those left. Here's another Christmas one. Like I said, these have been very hot. All right, um, here's one for the uh, upcoming spring season. Very pretty, again, for the spring season. And then these are two of our newest ones in the shop. Just absolutely beautiful. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of us, okay? So just make sure you hop on over and uh, give, us a, give us a buzz, all right? So that's for another video, the uh, transfers. Uh, what I'm gonna show you tonight is how to do this one right here. We're gonna do it on um, a piece of uh, navy paper. So what you do is you take your cardstock, you spritz it with the little mini sp spritzer, all right? You don't want it too wet, but you want it wet enough that um, it's going to uh, mold your paper. And what I, what I mean by that is if you have these 3D embossing folders and you run them through, um, without spritzing them, there is the chance of them uh, cracking. So you don't want to do that. So you don't want to saturate it. You just want to take and wet it enough so that you can take and just run it through your um, a die cut machine. All right. So that's the way you start doing it. I have one done right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to use our Luma paint. So I'm going to bring in a couple of things. I'm going to bring in my Luma paint right here. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my finger dauber. I'm gonna bring in one of my palettes. I have this one and I have the paw palette. I just happened to grab this one. You're gonna take and put some water in there from your silicone, um, your silicone bottle. And we're gonna take and put just a little bit of our Luma paint. And you don't need a lot of it, okay? Trust me, that's way too much, all right? Now what I want to do is to take and make sure that that is cleaned off because if it's not, you um, are going to have the top stick to it. So always make sure you clean off your top before you put it in there, before you put the top back on anyway. All right. So you see how little I have here? I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to lift up some of my, let me see, I just want to take and... You don't want this too. You don't want this too uh, runny because if you do, um, it's gonna it's gonna kind of fizzle out. All right. So what I do because I am gonna cover up this one right here. I like to practice onto my my um, the one I'm gonna actually cover up. Now you see how I'm almost rubbing all of it off. That there's a reason for that. You don't want it to be too. You don't want it to be too dark. You see. And what I'm doing is just lightly going over the image. Isn't that so pretty? All right, so I think I got just about enough on there. If I need a little bit more, I'm gonna go through the same process. I do not want a lot of the um, Luma paint on here because then it turns really white and I just want it to be shadowed. And it's just such an easy card to make. We did this green one in our Stamping Saratoga Style Weekend. They learned so much that weekend. We did some gorgeous projects. And as you start scrubbing this on, or burnishing it, I should say, um, when you start feeling like it's getting too dry, then you're going to take and you're going to want to add a little bit more. I am still at the point where I'm getting color, and it depends on how much color you want. If you have too much of that, that Luma paint on your um, dauber, 
it is going to totally white out everything. And that's not the look you're going for. You're going for the look of just a little bit of highlight. I think I can use just a little bit more. Again, testing it on the one that's going to be covered up. You can also test it on a piece of paper if you want to. And I'm going to show you what I do at the very, very end. Isn't that so pretty? I love, 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 love this look. Okay. So now it went from all blue to highlighted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to highlight just a little bit more. Just some areas, okay? Not everything because we want some dark, some light. See how I added a little bit more white there? I'm going to add a little bit more white right here. Just down in the little dips, all right? And you can do it as much or as little as you want. But the secret to this, I can't stress it enough, you don't want too much on there. There's that fine little line. You can even take a little piece of colored cardstock to the side and just see what it looks like um, when you do it on your scrap piece. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. That's all I want to do. It looks just like this one. I think I added a little bit more on here and I can show you how to do that. See how I'm going a little bit lighter? but I'm not coloring the whole thing in. Ooh, that makes it even prettier. Just a little bit more of the white. There, we're just kind of highlighting a little bit more right here. So pretty. Now, what we're gonna do, look at how gorgeous that is. I just love that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take and, uh, I think I have, yep, I have one of these right here, but that's not the one I want. I want this one right here, all right? So now what we're gonna do is just take some of our markers, our, our Copic markers, and we're just gonna color it in, all right? So let's just take and add a little bit to, whoops, add a little bit to the, I'll have all the colors that I've used here over on my blog post, okay, and so if you had to do a bunch of these, let's say you wanted to do these for your, um, some people do their year's worth of, this was my mom, she would do a year's worth of cards, and then everybody would get the same card, but she knew that she wasn't going to give the same card twice. Um, so this year, next year, you weren't going to get them, but, um, she would do them um, all at the same time. This would be a beautiful birthday card. Okay. There is, and I'm not even shading. This is just, um, fast, fast, fast. Okay. Let's put this little guy in. I'm just going to take and put a little bit of highlight into the crevices. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Okay, and then add the center. And that is done. All right, now I'm gonna take my glue press because um, the glue press, you don't wanna run this through um, or, or press down with your easy, easy um, glide because if you do, you're going to flatten out what you have done. Yes, I did use um, a recycled piece of paper. Okay, here is that. That, now we just line it up with the picture. Set it down. Look at how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And now I'll go in, take one of my sentiments. Uh, let's see, make the most of this beautiful day. Or 
How about this one? Okay. Sending you laugh, sunshine laughter. Love that. I added some foam tape on the back of it. And add that right there. We're going to take a card base. Add this to... Have you, ever, have you ever done your cards upside down? Believe me, I think everybody has. And yes, I have. Um, just make sure you got it right side up. Add this to this. Look at how easy this is. Again, I don't want to press down. What I mean by that is I don't want to take my runner and, and um, run it down. Because if I do, I might miss some or I might lose some of the, um, the, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh embossed look all right so what i'm doing is just adding some of my now you all know that i've used nouveau glue since we opened up teaspoon of fun my favorite glue when nouveau paired up with um uh my sweet petunia then um i they just it was a match made in heaven i'm gonna tell you right now they hit it out of the ballpark. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just add this to my card base. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Now, I'm gonna do one more thing. I am going to, first of all, clean off the, uh, Every, every stamp room should have uh, baby wipes because baby wipes are the best, okay? So I've got that cleaning off my fingers too because i got glue on them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got it all adhered down good, lightly, lightly, so we don't ruin the... Uh, oh my gosh, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? All right, so now we've got the sentiment, we've got that, and now what we're going to do is to... Look at that, so, so pretty, I love it. All right, grab your retractable pick. Now the reason I love the retractable pick is because I can make this very long. And what I'm gonna do right now is to just kind of curl these. Because people always say, and I'm gonna show you in just a minute, why would you add pieces? Well, for this one, it's a, it's a no-brainer. We're going from blue to white. But let me show you the card that I did that was all white. All right, let me show you the white card. Here it is right. So this is white on white. Now, if I put this on there like I did this one, kind of flat, you're not gonna see the difference. But what I did with this was I raised it up even more with my retractable pick, and then what it does is it brings even more life to this card. It is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's how that's how easy and how fast this is these cards are just so pretty um, and, and like I said very fast you anybody can do them and then you have the option of um, the transfers which are these right here this is the transfer that um, matches this die uh, the, the embossing folder and the dies, they all go together. Um, they can be found in our Teaspoon of Fun shop if you go to the little I above or to the um, description and there's a link in there. It just is amazing. Vicki and I love to bring things like this to you. It is just a fun, fun card to do. Simple, fast, and fantastic. If you have any questions, just let us know. Make sure you share this with your friends. Click on the little bell so that you get all the notifications of our next video. And stop on over to teaspoonoffun.com. It's fantastic. We are a little company that just loves doing what we do. So we hope you enjoyed our post today. You take care, have a great day, and thank you for stopping by.